Wrexham Football Club, without a shadow of a doubt, has become one of the main newsmakers in world football. In this video, we will tell you how the club from the 5th division of English football, owned by Deadpool, is making headlines around the world. And before we start, we ask you to subscribe to our channel and support this video with a like. We are still preparing a lot of interesting things for you, so stay with us. Let's get started. Wrexham made headlines in 2020 when it was bought by actors Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. At the time, it caused a huge hype. After all, Deadpool himself came from Hollywood and became a co-owner of a small club in the wilds of British football. We want to reward the faith of the supporters who have stood by Wrexham AFC through its history by putting everything we have towards what all fans want most for their club, and that is to win win and win. That was the message of the star owners to the fans after the takeover. For those who don't know, Wrexham is a Welsh club that plays in the National League, the fifth division of English football. But this is a formal thing already because one of the reasons why this video was created is that the club has already made it to League 2. The first four divisions, the Premier League, the Championship, League 1 and League 2, are considered the elite of English football, so getting back there was a historic event for Wrexham. By the way, if you're wondering what a Welsh club is doing in the English leagues, it's a common practice for clubs from this country. Just think of Cardiff and Swansea who are currently playing in the Championship, but not so long ago they had their spells in the Premier League. In fact, Wrexham is one of the oldest clubs in the world. It was founded back in 1864, and the Welsh have spent a huge part of their history in the Football League. At the same time, Wrexham took part in the Welsh Cup, constantly winning it and thus participating in the Cup Winners' Cup. There, they faced famous European clubs such as Anderlecht, Zaragoza and Porto. Given this legacy, the relegation from the Football League was a hard blow for the fans. It happened in 2008, and only now, 15 years later, the club is returning to its rightful place, and the star owners played a huge role in this. The very fact of their arrival drew a lot of attention, which could have only a positive effect. Reynolds and McElhenney also managed to attract investors. The partnership with TikTok, the club's title sponsor, is worth a mention. Fans of the FIFA Football Singulator also know that in the game, Wrexham has been added to the rest of the world category since FIFA 22. This is an incredible step forward in terms of club promotion. The team immediately became one of the most popular among gamers in career mode. It is not surprising people love beautiful stories. And what could be better than leading a small Deadpool's club to victory in a Champions League? Perhaps, along with Reynolds and Michael Haney, the magic of Hollywood has arrived in Wales. Although it would be difficult to come up with a scenario of how this club won promotion. No doubt it will be talked about for a very long time in the future. For reference, only the champion gets a direct ticket to League 2 from the National League. The second is played by the clubs that are between 2nd and 7th in the playoffs. In the first season under the new owners, Wrexham finished 8th. And in the second, they came second but failed to qualify through the playoffs. They didn't want to wait any longer and this season was supposed to be the season of the promotion. But just like in a good movie, in reality Wrexham had a powerful antagonist. Another legendary club, Notts County, became the Red Dragon's rival for the top spot. If the Welsh is one of the oldest existing professional clubs, then Notts County is the oldest. Could you think of a more perfect setup for the race? These two teams were like Formula One car racing throughout the season. They didn't let each other rest for even a second. This resulted in both Wrexham and Notts County crossing a 100-point mark in the league. The last two teams managed to do this at this level was never. We talk about seasons since 2006, when the division was expanded to 24 teams. And of course, like in a good movie, at the end of the season, these teams had a face-to-face -face clash to decide the fate of first place and a promotion ticket. 
However, let's pause our story for a moment for the sake of one important person. And the person's name is Ben Foster. The former Manchester United, Watford, West Bromwich Albion and other clubs goalie announced his retirement last summer. This is a totally okay decision for a goalkeeper who is 39 and has 390 Premier League matches under his belt. Moreover, Ben had plenty to do apart from football. In the UK, he's known not only as a footballer but also as a blogger. His YouTube channel, The Cycling GK, has over 1.4 million subscribers. Initially, Ben recorded vlogs from the daily life of a footballer and after finishing his career, he focused on podcasts and has a very solid number of views. So, what was the point of all this? In March, Wrexham's goalkeeper Rob Langton got injured, so the club approached Foster and asked him to come out of retirement to help the club in a crucial part of the season. Ben agreed. Actually, it was a win-win story for both parties. The club got even more attention for its brand, and Foster got new content for the channel. The viewers were also delighted with the news. In addition, Ben had already played for Wrexham on loan in 2005 and had a history with the club. Oh, doddle, mate. 3-0, clean sheet, bosh. Just met Ryan Reynolds in the tunnel. <laughs> don't get much better. Like, days don't get much better than that. Ben said after his successful debut for Wrexham against York. Can you feel it coming? Wrexham and Notts County went into head-to-head -head with 100 points each. The tension was fierce and the game was almost more talked about than any match between the top clubs in the Premier League. For the Red Dragons, the home stadium, called the race course Brown, was an advantage. Obviously, all the almost 11,000 seats were occupied, and what a game it was. Let's just do a little review. At the end of the first half, Notts County opened the scoring. In the 69th minute, Wrexham took the lead. In the 75th minute, the visitors equalized. Four minutes later, the Red Dragons were back in front. And then, in the seventh minute of added time, Notts County are awarded a penalty, and Ben Foster makes a spectacular save. Ryan Reynolds' reaction to all this speaks for itself. The football community, and not just Rex and fans, went crazy. Various videos surrounding the game were circulating online. In particular, the emotional dialogue between Reynolds and Foster, who quickly became friends. Of course, after such a morale boost, the Welsh confidently went on to win the first place and promotion. But there was no chance that the fans would not perform a traditional pitch invasion after the team officially qualified for League 2. It happened after the game against Borham Wood, and it was pure emotion. Rob McElhenney just couldn't hold back the tears. There's the thrill of non-league football. I, I don't, I'm not sure I can actually process what happened uh, tonight. I'm, I'm still a little speechless. I know that the one thing that's running through my head over and over again is people said at the beginning, why Wrexham? Why Wrexham? This is exactly why Wrexham. What's happening right now is why. Reynolds said after winning the promotion. This is my seventh game, right? And uh, it's like it's like home already, seriously. The fact this this club, this club is different. I promise you it's different. It's, um, that meant a lot, that did. That's special. That's really special. Ben Foster shared his feelings. After all the emotion you've seen, the fact that Wrexham scored 110 points and broke the National League record is unlikely to be of interest to anyone. Nor will the fact that they can improve it to 113 points in the last round if they beat Torquay. Now Wrexham will have to prepare for a new big adventure. There is no way they will rest on their laurels. This step is just the beginning of an interesting and exciting journey to the Premier League. The world belongs to dreamers. So why not let Wrexham's dream come true? Like this video if you would like to see the Red Dragons in the Premier League. The club is already working hard for the future. In the summer, the Welsh will go on a tour to the United States. Yes, yes, the team from League 2 is now going on a tour to the United States. You heard that right. But that's not it. As part of this tour, Wrexham will play Manchester United. The clubs even made a funny announcement of this match where Reynolds, Michael Haney and Sir Alex Ferguson himself took part. The game will take place on 25th July in San Diego, so we have viewers from this city hurry up and buy tickets. In addition, it has already been reported that Wrexham wants to extend Foster's contract for the next season. Most likely everything depends on Ben's health 
because the desire is there. It's not just about the emotions of a great trip. This month, Ben's YouTube channel has grown by 200,000 subscribers and people are so delighted with his vlogs. There is some motivation to continue, we should say. It seems that the owners liked Ben Foster's case so much that they wanted to repeat it with another star. Rob Michael Haney has tweeted hinting for a possible return to one of the Welsh football idols. Hey Gareth Bale, let's play golf, where I totally won't spend four hours trying to convince you to unretire for one last magical season, Rob wrote. Depends what course, Gareth replied mysteriously. So are we waiting for Bale to make a comeback? You have to admit, it would be legendary. And for those who want to experience the history of Wrexham even deeper, you can find the documentary series Welcome to Wrexham, the first season of which was released last summer. And the second season has already been announced, so we can relive all those crazy moments of the battle for promotion in Hollywood quality. Let us know in the comments if you follow Wrexham or if you're going to start after watching this video. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. We also invite you to watch other videos from our channel that are on your screen right now.